What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video in the Street Built series. Today, as you can see from the title, we are going to be going into the perfect C6 Corvette Street Build. Now to start, if you're watching this video, you probably already know this, but just in case, the years that the C6 generation of Corvette covered was from 2005 to 2013. I know, it's kind of a long range, larger than what I had actually thought before Googling it myself. And I just wanted to add that in there quick before we start on this build, but let's get right into it. So to start, we will first cover looks and get that done and out of the way, and then into performance. I feel like this is the general thing that anybody does whenever they first get their car, but the first thing that we're gonna do is wheels, tires, and suspension. For these parts, we're gonna be handing over to our boys who have the same slogan, Fitment Industries, starting with the wheels. They may be somewhat excessive, but I think that the Variant Helium 20x10 plus 30 wheels are a good choice for us just to make sure that we can put all of that power down. Being rear wheel drive, we wanna make sure there's enough surface area between those rear tires and the ground that they don't start spinning as soon as we try and floor it but we also don't want that wide of a tire that that's just a waste of weight and that's not really giving us any advantages because uh also wider wheels are more expensive now since we have this wider wheel we really don't need that thick of a tire but i'm still gonna go with the nito nt555 g2 275x35z r20 which can hopefully rid us of the ungrateful wheel spin and instead help us become the jet engine that could. Next, let's close up that wheel gap, and that is where a nice set of coilovers comes in. As you all may know, I'm a fan of BC Racing and the coilovers that they offer, so for this build, of course, we're going to be choosing the BR Series coilovers for the C5 and C6 Corvette. This will help make the vet look like a bullet and lower it so far to the ground you'd think that it was hovering. Now, we've all been waiting for power mods, baby, we need those horsepowers. For the sake of appealing to more people, as I think that most people wouldn't have a Z06 or a higher trim, we're going to say that this is a base model C6 Corvette. First on the list that I know is controversial, and it's a K&N Performance Cold Air Intake, which should help the engine be able to have more air to work with. Next, we are going to increase the airflow out by using the Speed Engineering Long Tube Headers in combination with the Borla ATAK exhaust, which will help it sound a little something like this. <laughs> Next up is choosing a cam. We don't want that aggressive because that will just make the street driving experience terrible and not fun at all for the road. The cam of choice for this build comes from MTI Racing and it is their V2 camshaft and we're also going to pair this with their V2 heads. Now the reason that we didn't choose the V3 ones if you go on their website you can see is because it has loping which sounds cool but also isn't the best so I just decided to skip that. Now since we have all those parts installed we're going to need a tune so that way our car can run the most optimally with all these parts and we can also squeeze the most amount of horsepower out of it as possible. I think that tunes can be very different prices but let's just say for the sake of putting a number on it, it's $500 and we will add that into our total because it will cost money. So assuming this Corvette is running at LS2 engine, since we want every point to count against it because you know we want to cut ourselves under so that way if someone were to replicate this build or anything, maybe they'd see some higher horsepower numbers. We are going to first assume that the camshaft adds a 8% power gain, which would bring our stock 400 horsepower up to a total of 432 horsepower. Then with the heads, I think it's safe to assume a 5% power increase, which would then push our number up to 452 horsepower. With the intake and exhaust, it can really vary anywhere from two horsepower to 50 horsepower, depending on the car and things. So I'll just add 15 horsepower for fun. It could be more, it could be less, but I feel like that's a safe number to add for this. And this would put the Corvette's horsepower after power mods to a total of 467 horsepower. It's not a huge amount. We did spend a little bit of money getting it to that point, but let's be honest, Corvettes are pretty fast from the factory, so even the small amount of horsepower added is gonna make a big difference. With these mods too, I still think it will be cheaper than a Z06, but it also has 40 horsepower less than a Z06. 
theoretically, but doing something like switching to E85 or just improving fueling, I think could easily boost us to build a higher number that's closer or even higher than what the Z06 can offer. Now the last thing that we need to stop all that power is a new set of big brakes and rotors, and that comes from TPS Motorsports and their big brake upgrade kit that allows the brakes from the Z06 to be used on the C5 and C6 Corvette. With all these mods done, we finally have a C6 Corvette with a total of 467 horsepower, the brakes to be able to stop that power, and a combination of wheels, tires, and suspension to stance this Corvette out to be quick, nimble, and sleek looking. The total of this entire build does come out to be less than buying a Z06 and can really help spice up the look of a C6 model and give it some more power. This car could maybe be used for a daily driver or just a fun car on the weekends that has some more power from the factory. And you know, maybe it could get you into a little bit of trouble if you started pushing it. With all that guys, thank you so much for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed my take on a street built C6 that I think would be great to own. Of course, as always, if you guys think that anything should change on this list or be added to it in addition, please don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. I'm sure people would be very interested to know, and me too included. So if you do think that there's anything that could be changed or added, please make sure to drop a comment. This is all hypothetical also after all, and what I perceive from my view to be the best street build, I'm sure things can differ for everybody, but I also hope that you guys liked my idea for this build. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot and push my videos to more people to enjoy. And thank you to everyone who has done that so far. But that's all that I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for sticking around. Have a great one and we will see you in the next video.